Okay. Hey guys. I wanted to show you my most solid Dehada deck I've built so far. Um, doesn't rely on anything too cheesy. <laughs> it's just kind of a solid deck all around. Um, probably a bit lacking in removal, but the point of this deck is to um, get a lot of cards out, fill them up with mana, and have Sten reduce the cost of mana. So you'll be casting a lot of cards during each turn, which is always a lot of fun. And uh, it's got a little bit of a mix of um, just kind of not necessarily looping, but just a lot of fast play of cards here. Then Teferi and Tamiyo. Teferi mostly to get him to is get that he heroism emblem and use it to delete anything on the board that your opponent puts out. And then Tamiyo Field Researcher for having a lot of, of mana in your hand next turn. So let me show you how well this deck does against our opponents. All right. So, if we can get Broker's Charm down, that would be nice, but start with Sten here. What I don't love about Dehada is her mana gains, even on her colors, aren't necessarily very impressive, but with all these cards that give us partial mana and then Sten reducing the cost of all those cards it's not as big of a deal so we'll get sundown pass okay so that's what's cool about Sten He's not going to be a, really our main damage dealer. He's more to help us get the rest of our cards down. Queza is pretty cool. And Shanna is really nice as well. Um, I don't need that Queza. And yeah, let's go from there. Most of our pieces are pretty well set up, so I think from here it's just a matter of uh, keeping the game going. So let's see. Okay, we got Broker's Charm. Go ahead and do it this way. So that's pretty fun, right? <laughs> nice fully charged uh, Invoke Despair will get us 
not only a bunch of cards, but it'll wipe out just about everything on their side of the board. And trigger Quezza, so that's cool too. So that's typically how these battles go. Um, we'll see if we come across a bit more of a challenge in the next battle here. So let's run this guy again. Okay, so new Liliana is really scary to go against sometimes because she can really not only get a lot of damage against you, with her second ability but it really helps to fill up her whole hand and keep that that snowballing so this should be a really interesting test to see how well this deck goes oops did not mean to make that map or swipe that gem glad there wasn't a an actual match there. I'm hoping that with Invoke Despair I can take care of anything that she puts on the board here, but we'll see how it goes. So Quezza and Shanna work pretty well. Seeing that every time you draw a card, it ups her level. Um, what do I need to get rid of? I guess I'll get rid of Quezza. Get a Rite of Flame. Really solid card. I like Rite of Flame a lot. I love that will be standard forever. And I like Sten a lot right now for the reducing the cost of cards. Broker's Charm is also really an all-star in this deck. These cards all just do so much for you at the same time. Um, I'll give an extra creature lifelink. Dang, I kind of wanted that to fairy. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. We're just kind of ping ponging our um <laughs> our damage against each other there. Um, disable you. Okay, well, I'm glad that Blade Coil didn't wipe my whole hand out. 
but yeah, we'll see. Um, Quetzal, Shamu, and then meeting at the five. Okay. All right, well, that went really well. <laughs> a lot of times I can run into some really sticky situations with with Liliana, but uh, there was enough going on here that really kept things moving pretty well. Um, I got a lot of card advantage there, a lot of removal of anything that they put down. There was just a lot going on that help me and hurt them so yeah we'll do one more battle here just for okay so here we go one final battle got shanna going there um let's see don't see anything too great so i'll take one of his matches away maybe that'll open one up for me okay we go if we get a quezza down then things can start to roll what I like about this deck is that every card serves a pretty good purpose to to sort of the theme of this deck, which is just getting cards, putting as much mana into them as possible for free. Uh, let's see, probably don't need these two right now. Okay, this should do well for us. Um, stand down. No, okay, I'll do meeting L5 instead. Cool, there's a Quezza. What's cool is that a lot of times you can get your cards half filled with mana or maybe more so and then Stan just puts everything over the top and so you're really just putting a bunch of cards down that you otherwise would not. Um, Her first ability can sometimes be pretty awesome. But overall, I'm not like super impressed with a lot of her abilities. Okay, that's fine. We got a Tomio and we'll invoke despair here. Don't need Quezza. I think I'm okay with the rest. Let's see what we end up getting here. Got another meeting of the five. Don't think I need these two right now.
deck has a lot of ways of gaining life back, so I rarely find myself really at a loss for mana, even though she's got such a uh, low life total. But... Yeah, that seems to work all right for us. So see, we took that 30 damage and we're already right back to full life. Didn't really make a dent. I could have easily put the heroism emblem on Teferi if I... <clears throat> was paying more attention, but at this point, does it even matter? It would give us the card draw, but other than that, it's um, negligible at that point what effect it would do. Uh, we were already fully in control, and uh, yeah, so this is a very solid, very balanced deck. Nothing too special as far as like any tricky combo or anything but it just has a, a solid theme that i built around and you can actually adapt this deck to other tricolor planeswalkers i built a narset and tomio version and yeah um, just as effective if not more so even but yeah if you're looking for a reason to to use dehada maybe you picked her up and you were just kind of underwhelmed by her this deck actually makes her pretty fun and pretty playable. Alright, see you in the next video.